What's up everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Say it louder for the bitches in the back, all the bitches in the back, all the fucking putas sucias in the motherfucking way in back. Are you putas sucias in the motherfucking back? <clears throat> the other day, I got a comment. And they said, I'm the fucking puta sucia in the way back. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everybody for watching little old me, I guess. I don't know. I don't really, really know. I know I haven't been making videos, but it's que, you know, I'm busy. No, I'm not that busy, but I'm busy. But I was going to make beans, frijoles, you know, frijoles, puercos, but with black beans. But then I wanted menudo, but then, you know, I wanted birria. So we're going to go with fucking birria. Um, I do have a video on it. But this is going to be like another type of birria. Like the classic ass birria, you know what I'm saying? A lot of birrias have like a lot of bunch of stuff. Condiments or whatever. Is that how you call condiment? Condiments. But this one has condiments, but not too many condiments. Because I feel like sometimes when you eat like birria or like stuff like that. <clears throat> especially for my people that have like, como se dice? You know, cuando sientes colicos, gastritis. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to make it a little bit like más buena para ustedes. But yeah. Um, this is actually a remix of my mom's recipe and a little bit of a remix of my recipe. So here we go, yo. But first, let's get my little shout outs, okay? So the, the other day, the other day we went, um, Leticia, this lady, right? She wanted some salsa. And she's like, oh, come to West Covina. And I was like, no, I can't today. And she's like, fine, let's meet up. So we meet it up in Glendale where we bought the our car and we meet it up in the fucking estate in the parking lot at the fucking place so i see her i'm like okay okay and i have my little you know sidekick sofia and she's always by my side she's my little security guard and then i see this couple and i'm like damn are they white are they like puerto rican what the fuck are they you know i'm not like i don't try to like, i don't judge people like at the beginning but they just look remixed you know what i'm saying some people just look remixed so then I'm like, hola, como, how are you? And, da, 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 da. and then they started talking Spanish. My type of Spanish. My type of Spanish is not like regular Spanish. Like Mario th did not get me at the beginning when he got with me. He was like, what the fuck is this rancho bitch come from? Where does this rancho bitch come from? So, like one day I said, sancudo. I said, Mario, me picó un sancudo. And he's like, what is that? And I'm like, a mosquito. And he's like, oh. Like, who, are, who the fuck are you hanging out with now that you... um." He's teaching you new words. And I'm like, Mario, calm down. So anyway, this couple, they knew my words, Tancudo. They knew any, like everything, like how I speak. And I was shook it. And they say they were raised in East LA. And you know, we chopped it up for a little bit. And they took me to Portals for the first time. I felt like a fancy ass bitch. And they gave us like a list. We're in the parking lot. And they told us, oh, get whatever you want. Get whatever you want. And Bay Mario chose like a red velvet, red velvet cake. Bitch. When I tell you the most beautiful cake... They gave us the most beautiful cake. Like, I posted on my Instagram and Facebook. It had like roses. And then the fucking frosting was so fucking bomb. So let me shout out to you, Ralph and Leticia Ulloa Valle. Valle. Sorry, it's because I write it down. And um, sometimes I forget how I write. But anyway, they were like a fucking sexy ass couple. So it's chorizo. He has green eyes. And he even um, showed Mario like some, sent Mario some things to work out. Like I guess he works out 30 minutes a day. So there you go, yo. Thank you very much. It was so nice meeting you. Also, Maya and her mommy, Jenny from Hawaii, on my Snapchat, my Snapchat, chat, chat, chat. Oh my God. So the little girl, she was like, say, mira que chulada. And then the mom, first is the, the daughter was like, right there, right? And I was like, she looks a little Mexican, but she didn't. And then the mom appeared and I was shook it to the motherfucking core. I was like, this fucking beautiful bitch watches little old me. No mames, you are so fucking gorgeous. Oh, my Hawaiian people, I don't know. Are you guys, I don't know if they're like Asian. I don't know, don't call me ignorant. That's what I'm asking. But Hawaiian people are fucking gorgeous. Their hair, their skin, their eyes. Oh my God. Okay, Mandy. I have a question. I don't want to look stupid. Stupid. People from Hawaii, are they Asian? No. They're Native American? No, they're, um, they're native to, they're native Hawaiians. They're native Hawaiians. Hawaii's not Asia. I, that's why I don't want to look stupid. 
Canadian. You know what I'm oh, saying? They're islanders. They're isle islanders. You can see that because it's an island. Okay, so my motherfucking is the Mandy is always right, and I'm sorry. I don't mean to like. ¿Cómo se dice? I don't mean to like offend anybody. I'm just kind of dumbass, but I'm like smart but like stupid at the same time. Okay, motherfuckers, let's get into this bitch. I love in this bitch. Okay, so for real, rare, of course, my little motherfucking horse. We're gonna use chile guajillo. I fucking love chile guajillo. You guys don't even know how many fucking bags of chile guajillo I have bought in my life. Talking about that, I'm not saying Rebecca. Um, I need to look for the last name. I'm gonna send Rebecca a bag of chiles. Chiles in Oregon. And I'm so excited. Got you bitch, I'm a dick in the hole and ride it. Okay. We're also gonna use chile ancho. This one already, I like, used it the other day. Like, you know, you devein it and you put a little bit of water. And I saved it because I don't wanna throw it away. We're gonna use consomme, beef flavored bouillon. We're gonna use some salt. We're gonna use some thyme. We're gonna use some oregano. We're gonna use some cumin. Fuck is going on? We're gonna use some black peppercorns. Of course, my little motherfucking horse. We're gonna use some bay leaves, laurel leaves, and avocado leaf. And we're gonna use um, meat. The rest, chuck meat. Diez mio. Yeah, bitch. Let's do this. We're gonna clean these bitches and we're gonna get these bitches ready. Yes, queen bird. Oh my God, look at me. Look at me. Ah, look at me. Okay, so first I wanna show you the carne. This is what the carne looks like, okay? It looks like a big ass motherfucking este T1 steak. Very, very importante, bone. We need bone, but also we want fat, we want lean, we want sexy ass book, um, meat. You know what I'm saying? The white is like the fat part. We want it because we react, you want it to be juicy. Yes. Juicy like my pussy, not Lucy like yo motherfucking pussy. Mm. Okay, motherfuckers. So for the meat, right, we're going to cut it like this much. If you want a smaller pieces and do it. Anyways, we're going to deshebrarla. We're going to cut it like in little pieces. Porque, como I said, this is not like those fucking birrias that you put cheese, that you do this. That you, this is a classic ass motherfucking birria with consomme. Motherfuckers get creative as fuck. Man, I see everybody in their motherfucking mama selling birria. Huh, mommy? See? Birria, la cesar, birria, la cesar, la cesar, Birria capulos. Birria capulos, I know. My Sofia la tortilla is doing her homework. She is very, very special. No, she's not. She's on TikTok. No, por eso te digo, she's very, very special <laughs> that she can't fucking concentrate. Le pone a hacer, en vez de hacer su pinche tarea, se pone a hacer otra cosa. Ya le dije, tienes que poner... Tienes que echarle ganas a la pinche escuela, cabrona. Yeah, that one. Tienes que echar a la escuela, pero no hace caso la mendiga. So this is not a lot, lot, as you can see. But it's enough now. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a lot. Well, if you want to make, like, if you're going to make for a bunch of gang of people, you make a lot. Pero yo no. Ahora no es mucha, más poquita. Okay. Now this is, okay, you know, blood and shit. I noticed that this vinegar is more potente. It's more strong. But I have the other one, too, that's like el pato or whatever. It's called El Pato. Why do they call it El Pato? There's a lot of things that is called El Pato. El Pato, El Pato. Okay, motherfuckers. So I left it for like almost 10 minutos and see how all the fucking pussy, juicy, musty, crusty, motherfucking lusty stuff comes out. Yeah, that's what we want. Because then, anyways, when you put it in the thing, you're going to have to take out the shukia from the top. But, you know, it just makes it a little cleaner. Porque no huela, you know, no smelly smells, smells. We don't want no motherfucking smelly smells. Bitch. Bitch, bitch. Mira que chula. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. Mira que motherfucking chula. So this is what we want. Clear, you know, like your booty hole. Now we're going to add the laurel leaves. We're going to add the salt. We're going to add the consomme. We're going to add the clavos and the oregano. A little bit. A little bit of Erica in my life. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Sandy in my hands. Just kidding. I'm a little. And we're going to add the leaves, the aguacate. Well, oh, these and a half. We're going to add the laurel leaf. Okay, leaf and a half. I really like how this smells, the leaves. Um, Somebody showed me, tagged me. Was it on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook. 
I guess somebody, you know, like customers in from Chipotle, they got their um their fucking is the como se dice? You know how they get like you get like a chicken bowl or some shit? And then they got a leaf on it and they got a, like mad like the customers and like oh my god becky why did i get like a leaf on my food like oh my god fucking chipotle is fucking up bruh no i'm just kidding they didn't say that but imagine you knowing nothing of cooking and then you get a fucking leaf on your bowl i know i'd probably be like what the fuck is this but since i know you know what i'm saying that's el oregano all this is like to get it like nice and sexy like this will make like a big fucking difference like from like a birria to like bitch a motherfucking birria now we're gonna add the garlics the garlics yeah the garlics ahí están los pinches garlics ahí está y ya look at that shit exotic as hell i'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to make just i want like so it will suck it in you know what i mean because this shit right here already has salt bitch so guess what happened yesterday okay so yesterday we went, what the fuck do we go? Oh, we went to pick up some stickers from my girl Lourdes and her familia. And um, this little boy, he was like shy, but he came out of the room and his mom is like, this is your chance to curse because Bird is here. And um, little Bird, little he's a little bird too. He said, it's Bird motherfucking teenage, bitch. And then he went like this. Beach, beach. He was so cute. I don't know his name, but you know who you is. But anyways, so we went all the way the fuck over there. I don't know where it was. And then what the fuck else? What did we do? We went to the post office and then we went to eat to Tommy's. And then I don't know what the fuck happened, but Mario was got in my nerve. He got in my motherfucking nerves. He gets in my motherfucking nerves sometimes. You know, it's just motherfucking science. It's just you know we've been together a long time and we're not gonna be lovey dovey all the time. So anyways. So we got in, we don't, we didn't fight that hard. We were just like, da -da -da, da -da -da, but not in front of the kids because it's bad. You know, that's a, a thing that as parents, we should like not try not to fucking be like, get in too motherfucking to it too hard because the kids, they see everything. They're like motherfucking sponges, you know? And if they see that, you know, the their, her, their dad treats their mom like shit, then when they grow up, they're gonna be like, oh, well, my dad did that to my mom, so it's normal. And I always put like a skirt, skirt to Mario. I'm like, you have daughters. Da, 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 da. Cause he, Mario, he's always been very like, I want you for me and only me and you're mine, you know? So when I'm like paying attention to, uh, not like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be guys. It's like other family members and shit. He's like, oh, you love them more even though. And I'm like, Mario, that's a different type of love. This is like family love and this is chorizo, you know, love, whatever. So anyways, we were good until we got home. He was just like, he said that one last word that, you know, you're like, fuck this. Like, you get super mad. So, I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, Mario. And I left. And I got my bag. And I left. And I just started walking. And I was walking. And I was walking all around the neighborhood. And I was like, man, fuck this motherfucker. Why can't you just calm the fuck down? He wants me to be like him. And I'm not like him. I'm like me. And nobody's going to fucking change me. He knew who the fuck it was. And I was just talking to myself. Ay, Dios mio. When I tell I was walking, like, oh. I'm by myself, don't wanna be this fucking perro puto sucio in his gate. He's like, <laughs> like all up in my face, and I'm like freaking out. So then I keep walking, and another fucking like four dogs in a row, like dun, dun, dun. they were like really loud, and I was like freaking out. And Mandy was calling me, Sophia was calling me, and I just texted them, I'm okay, I just need a little walk, I just need to vent. <sighs> whatever vent to myself because i didn't call nobody i don't like to call my mom i don't want to like mortificarla i don't want to call my sister you know it's not a big deal i knew it was gonna blow over because it wasn't even like that unless your vato is cheating on you like it's okay you guys can work it out so then i get home and i say hey guys and my todo lo ofendido like oh my god you have to say sorry to me i never fucking say sorry i never say sorry when it's not my fault so then he's like, he's like, ya te calmaste. I'm like, no, tú ya te calmaste. Like, why are you being stupid in front of the girls? And he's like, no, it's because you don't think like me. How am I supposed to make myself to think like you? I'm going to think like me and you're going to think like you. That's what the, that's what we bump heads so much because, not so much, but like sometimes. Because I'm not going to think like you. So that's why I'd rather go for a little walk than fucking like fight in front of my daughters and my son because i don't want them to get fucked up in the head like i did but anyways the point of this motherfucking story is if you are in a relationship 
where the you know you guys get into it it's better just to walk the fuck away walk away it's gonna work out anyways and if you guys are not meant to be together you guys might as well break up um me and mario i think we're meant to be together este i said man even if one day i get my house i'm still not gonna have my own room like every every year for my birthday my wish was please god i hope one day i have my own room when i was little fucking este i slept with my mom my sister was born i slept with my sister then after i slept with my sister i slept with mario then i slept with mandy and i slept with sofia and then i slept with baby mario like i've always slept with somebody and mario's like well guess what you're never gonna have your own room because you're gonna be with me forever and i was like motherfucker bursting my motherfucking bubble i'm over here trying to like think like i'm gonna have my own room you guys kid no i i like being with him i really fucking love him i look at him and i'm like mm, we're getting older together i see his baby face but when he was when we got together he had, a, he had braces on and i see how much he's learned from life because before he couldn't do shit he couldn't even build a like a nothing a crib and you see him now building stuff you know he's so organized but a chorizo get on our motherfucking nerves i swear but they're worth it i guess they're worth it and a family is so much it's so worth it we were watching the movie unfaithful that's a badass movie by the way but if, if you guys ever get the chance watch that shit that's just fucking litty and say mario's getting all mad at me he's like you went for a walk you probably went to go talk to somebody i'm like who am i gonna talk to i will never <laughs> i'm just kidding my hood red my hood red days are over they really are you know when you get to that age where you're just like no you know i don't, I don't I, there's nothing in this world that's worth it but oh maybe it was like a 10 inch thick or something no, i'm just kidding I've never had a huge, huge, huge dick in my life. I don't think the size of the dick matters. I really don't. I really, really don't. Like, the best orgasms that I've had in my life were like fucking, like, regular schmegular dick or whatever. Why am I talking about dick? But anyway, <laughs> so here is the chile guajillos. You just have to debain him. I don't have no help today. Like, Mandy is practicing her little fucking fucking hand handstands she's thinking of um trying to be a cheerleader or something i don't know i said go for it so she's watching youtube videos and then sofia she's trying to do her homework and then baby mario he's helping mandy actually so yeah i'm all alone here by myself how many chilies am i gonna use one two three let me see so mira que mama yeah, chulada, but this is not chulada. This is ugliada. So, right here, when you see... Yeah, you can see, mama. Every time you make caldo de res, like something Ooh. like this, like something de res, or albondigas, it's not fancy. That's pendeja. <laughs> you need to clean it. You want me to give, give you a try? Yeah. Yeah. From the corners. Either yes, okay, put vinegar on it. Try to clean it up and shit. It's still gonna do it. So, yeah. That's why some people they they don't they don't add the leaves and the garlic until after, and I think that's smart too. So if you want to add the leaves and all that after, so your condiments don't get dirty. But I don't feel like I'm gonna take them out anyways. And plus, this is how my mom does it, so I just do how my mom does it. So yeah. Si se puede, así poco a poquito, despacito, no te me aceleres, cabrona. Aceleres, what, what does that mean? Mira, you dropped it, you dropped it. I'm sorry. It's okay, mama. Aceleres is like you're going too fast. You need to concentrate and pay attention. Like I taught you. No, no, no. The spoon no, no. has to be flat. Mm. So you could get the stuff. And then you put it to the side. See? Then you, you go. Flat. Mm. See that mostly right there is water, but you could take it out. It has a little bit of it. Still good. Good job, Mama. Thank you. Okay, so this is what it looks like, nice and clean, like my butthole. Y si, ahora me lavé el culo, wey. Hasta que se le hizo el agua. That's what my sister said the other day. Hasta que se le hizo el agua. I'm like, oh my god, you're so fucking funny, bitch. Okay. So it smells amazing, balls. You could even eat it like this, like un con un este caldito de res. Mmm, mm la la, mmm la la. Mm la la. Okay, bitch. Okay. Now you, mama. You're not a bitch. Mm -hmm. 
Oh la la, look at them colors So I don't care how many fucking times I use Chile Guajillo, I'm always gonna be in love with you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I used a gang of them, like 20. You could use less, but if you want your motherfucking birria to be like, uh, 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 like I'm here, bitch. I'm here, I'm red, I'm ready to motherfucking enjoy. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I would use less because I was like coda, you know, I'm still coda. But sometimes like, some things are just necessary. Okay, we're gonna get cumin for that ass. Um, like that much. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. Oregano for that ass. Because anyways, la vamos a use the colander, so it's all good. ¿Qué pasó, Mandy? Like my question, my test. ¿Qué te dice tu question de tu test? Tiger murdered Bonnie the purple dinosaur. The state charges Tiger with homicide. This law against murder promotes society's blank value, the protection <laughs> of life. Why Bonnie? Boring? <laughs> what the fuck? We're gonna use one, two, three, black. These thingies, it's called black peppercorns. And I've noticed that for a lot of Mexican recipes, it's very, very, very importante. Very on the back Very, very motherfucking importante. Very, extremely importante. Thyme. Of course, my little thyme. And in Spanish, it's called tomino. Tomino. Tomino pal padrino. Yeah. Oh, chicken bouillon. See where you had a chicken bouillon, even though you use the the beef bouillon, because the chicken bouillon is the classic one. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna fight me, then fight me. This one is the classic one. I use it for everything, everything. Y'all need tiene mira, mames. I need to stock up. We're gonna boil it a little bit with other chiles. Yeah, chingamos, way. Bitch, I forgot to add the. Clavos, cloves. These are very important. I don't know why. Because it's motherfucking science. So yeah, add them if you want to. If you don't, but chinga tomada. Okay, my little Sofia. So she was trying, she's making a video, right? How she does her schoolwork. And she's so cute. Behind the scenes with Sofia. La motherfucking tortilla. Mira mi gordita chula. Mm, she's really trying. School is like hard for her because she gets all like distracted. Like right now she should be doing her work instead of showing people how to do it. But it is what it is. She's creative as fuck, I guess. Yeah, Mandy, she's telling people how to do their homework. Pues no la está haciendo la cabrón. Hija de su chingada, Bitch, 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 bitch. So I can't find my, um, my knife sharpener. But even if you have like a rock or anything, that helps. I'm telling you, you don't need to get all fancy and shit. Okay. So for a burrito, of course, my little horse, you will need tomatoes, onions, chile serrano. Bitch, I want to thank Clarissa motherfucking Espinosa. She made us three aprons and I feel so special because like, you know, people take the time to make me something. I fucking love it. I feel like that bitch, that motherfucking puta, motherfucking sucia of the motherfucking world. Thank you very much. Clarissa from Arizona. That's a little note. Hold on. It says, here are some aprons for you and the girls. I made them. I made the design for you. I hope you like them. Enjoy. Me encantan tus videos. Saludos desde Arizona. Shout out Arizona. La Arizona. Bitch, so if you guys hear noise, you know, construction noise or whatever, just know that it's my father-in-law. So you guys know I've been posting videos and pictures of us, of me, and you can see there's some shit going on in the back. Okay, so here is the motherfucking cheese. Okay, you guys could get the cheese, and I'll be cutting the tomatoes at the same damn time. Okay, motherfuckers, so now back to the motherfucking cheese, man. Okay, so the reason we live here is because this is where Mario has been living, like, all his life, right? I moved in here, then, you know, had my kids, Mario's mother has cancer, and I'm the one that cooks, and I help, you know? It's like, I've been happy here. But Mario has a brother, right? And um, he has mental issues. He's actually bipolar or whatever. And we have had issues for the past years. So anyways, the whole fucking thing happened one day that I was like getting, I was cooking in the morning. And um, he was just not, it was just not a good day for him. He started screaming at me. He started spitting at me. A whole thing, chicken motherfucking when When I tell you. That shit went from zero to 100 real motherfucking quick. I am not fucking lying. So, 
at the end he pushed me um he actually choked me and pushed me up to the to the wall called the cops press charges it turned into a whole mess you know as the mother of a son i can't even imagine having two sons and having one son against my other son's wife so that shit fucking happened his mother said, oh, I didn't see nothing. You're lying. And bitch, I fucking love you guys. When I was going through all that bullshit, I seriously did not know what the fuck to do. Because the only person that was there was my children, two Mandy and Sophia, and is their mother. And she said that I was fucking lying. That she didn't see nothing, which is fucking bullshit. And God knows that I'm not fucking lying. That he fucking grabbed me and pulled me up that fucking wall. You know what I'm saying? I was seriously fucking scared. Like, I thought this motherfucker was going to fucking stab me or some shit. You don't know, with people that are bipolar and they're, you know, going through dr drug abuse, they fucking go crazy. They go coconuts. So, anyway, you know, I still kept making my videos because, you know what, chingueso madre. So, I would be like, you know what, fuck it. And I will do my videos. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, suck it up, bird, suck it up, bird. And, um, you know, the DA told me that, um, that I guess since the coronavirus they want to give him a plea deal and i don't think that's fair because it's not because it was not his first time against a female you know what i'm saying it's been over and over and over again and then these bitches drop the motherfucking charges but i feel like if the motherfucker's fucking with you might as well you know what i'm saying it wasn't like he fucks with me he just fucked with me and i feel bad with my husband mario mario the chorizo and then um People be like, well, I would have fucked them up. But, man, that's the last thing I want to see. My two brothers getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I got, I did get a lot of um, shit. Como se dice, I want to see if I'm still recording. Um, People in the family say, oh, well, a man won't do that to a woman unless she's fucking him. You know? A lot of people be like, oh, are you fucking the brother? You fuck Hell, motherfucking ass. No, that's the nastiest shit I've heard in my fucking life. I would never touch, you know? Something, somebody that's related to my husband. You know how many fucking chorizos there's in the motherfucking world? There's a lot of fucking chorizo. I can go jump on another chorizo any motherfucking time. So, yeah, that's some that's some bullshit right there. I don't know. I feel like he, since kind of we grew up, he was 12. I was, what, 18 when he, I came. So, it's like, oh, fuck her. She's gonna, um, she's not gonna do nothing about it. I fucking swing back at him one time because I was so fucking sick of it because he does go crazy you know what i'm saying and we are trying to we, we are trying to get the fuck out but i feel like this coronavirus is like giving us less and less time because they're letting the inmates out and it's crazy to me because there's some people that the cases are crazier like they rape girls and all that shit and they're letting the motherfuckers out like how is that even fair how is that fair for the victims you know you fucking live out here scared you know, my daughters have to see all that. And these girls, I protect them so much. And their own family was the one that fucked them over, you know, mentally. Porque, you know, it's fucking scary to see somebody fucking hurting your mom. What the fuck? And Mario was scared to talk about it because he feels like, oh, people are going to judge me because I'm the man and I'm supposed to defend you. And I'm like, but what are you supposed to do? Fucking kill your fucking brother? The fuck? So, yeah. You're going to put some fucking limon up in this hoe? So these are the limones from outside. And they're not yellow yet, but they're fucking bomb skis, skis, motherfuckers. Sorry, guys, and I got a little city up in there. You know, life is life, and I know I'm not the only one going through some bullshit. Pero si miran que even though I'm going through bullshit, boom, you have, I have a smile on my face, you know what I'm saying? That's how you got keep it going, keep it pushing, y chingue su madre. A toda madre, a un desmadre, bitch. And now we're going to put a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt oh, in my life. A little bit of Erica all night long. Remix to the remix to the remix, mix, mix, bitch. I feel like something came out of my soul. Like it was this weight I was having. Now it's gone. The cucaracha, the cucaracha is here. There's a fucking big ass abista in my hand. But anyways, this is what I got. Garbanzos. He saw me like recording and he's like, you want some garbanzos? I'm not like, okay. This is the from the cucaracha. He gave me these garbanzos for two bucks. So two, two, four. And then right here, I got, como se dice, four dollars of tomatillos. I like to buy my, my, como se dice, my tomatillos from the, from the stove, from the grocery stove. Because since it's hot, you know, they get all mushy and gushy in there. But I also support him, you know what I'm saying? 
He'll be working from the morning to the motherfucking night. So that's a good amount. Or I'm gonna clean them and put them in the fridge so they're nice, they're nice and ready. She ready, Freddy. Mira que chulada. I said, mira que fucking mamada, bitch. Mm, mm, mm. I wanna slap your mama. Make you wanna slap your mama. So see how the bone is like not there, like not stuck? That's how we want it. Okay, let's start the chewing. Y arriba yo, mi apa y la chona. Oh my god. Ahora sí, la muchachilito. If you want to use the calendar, use it. If you don't, don't. Pero yo sí. Porque the seeds, the skin, all that is bad for your asshole. You must remove it. You gotta move it. Don't, 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 don't. You're gonna tirar la merga. I'm gonna let it boil unos minutos, pero no mames, wey. This right here, the caldito, that's what we will bring your ass back to life. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're sick, if you're hungover, you just had a baby. Oh my god. Mira que chula. So this right here is what we call consomme. You know, Mexicans that's put. Y así se le echa nomás así. Oh la la. But anyways, bitch, let's taste the motherfucking consomme, which is my personal favorite part. Bitch, I'm so sorry what's going on in Texas. Um, Mario told me that there's a hurricane going. And it's like fucking scary. I don't even know what I would do. But I hope you guys get safe to a safe place i hope all the kids you know um are with their parents and don't get separated because when there's some bullshit going on that's the first thing that fucking happens like se pierden algo pasa so i'm praying for you guys also did you guys hear what happened in fort worth texas otra vez yes now it's a boy a guy so i guess there's a guy in fort worth um fort hood texas what happened to vanessa guillen but to another guy and I guess he told somebody that he was being harassed, you know. There was some bullshit going on. And they found him hanging. There's some bullshit going on over there. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. They should close that bitch down. You know what I'm saying? Mm, this is so good. Um, a todos los muchachos, you know what I'm saying? Because kids that are there, I feel like they're there for good reason. I mean, they're trying. It's not like they're there for a lo pendejo. Pero no mames, puras pinches cosas que pasan en el mundo. So yeah. You could put like a little piece of meat in there. I, do, I did put a little piece, a little fatty. I like this one because it doesn't have too many spices. You know what I'm saying? It's just good for right now. Even though it's fucking hot. Mm, 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 mm. Bitch, bitch. I'm also some, making some rice because, I don't know, I feel like birria goes with rice. And I'm making an agua de plátano. Yes, coin. Yes. Sofia la tortilla is hype. She's like, mommy, you making the banana water? I'm like, yeah. She's like, yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. Mira que chulada. I said, mira que motherfucking chulada. Okay, motherfuckers, right here. We have motherfucking consomme. The rice. The pico de gallo. And of course, my little horse, the birria. Yes, this is like the watery ass. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what I was going for. And I fucking love it. I know it's hot ass fuck outside, but whatever. We Mexican up in here. We do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Just wash your shoes. Y aquí tenemos la agüita. Mm -mm -mm. I made it the same as last time, but this time I got whipped milk. It made a whole difference. Yes, queen of the motherfucking world. Oh my life. I pray for someone like you. I tengo la leaf. <laughs> a ver quién like, a ver quién like, a ver a ver a quién le toca, bitch. So I told Sofia that the pico de gallo is kind of hot. So this is what hers looks like. Yeah. Regular smeg. It's not regular smegular. Mira, y vamos a echar este cabbage. Ooh, mira que chulada. Mira que chulada. Ale, limon. Limoncito. Pero mira que bonito se mira. It, it is a motherfucking chulada. It's like an apple. This lemon is like an apple. I know it's weird, huh? Yeah. Mm -la -la. Mira chulada. Mira que chulada. And then mine. You can make it in taco. But what I'm gonna do, Scooby motherfucking do. I'm gonna put mine right there. And then my toasted is the. You can make it in, in quesadillas. Como se dice with birria and cheese and all that. But this is some. This is a classic ass bitch. So we're gonna dip it. I don't know what the fuck happened. 
So we're gonna dip it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what birria is known for. And you don't even have to put oil in it. It's the fatty fat fat from the meat. Yeah. Fatty fat fat? Yeah, it's more fucking science. So we have the one, the only, Sofia La Tortilla. Okay, Sofia, let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know how to say it. Cheers. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Let's look at permissions over there. We don't need permission. We don't need permission, huh? No, no, no. Mmm. 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 Yeah. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Cómo están los hijos? ¿Cómo oh, hijo? Pinche Sofía. ¿Qué crees? People eat this in tacos. Like this. But mm -hmm. I don't want, I don't feel like tacos. I feel like something, something caldurito. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. I know you like soups. You love soups, huh? I love, love, love soups. Sofía, I love you. Love you too. So anyways, motherfuckers, um, Sofía la tortilla. Is, so she's doing the tomatillos for tomorrow. Para las salsitas, thank you everybody that's been on, um, you know, purchasing salsas, chamoy, mame, the shirts. It's all helping to the motherfucking calls. Chamoy. Chamoy, this is shirt. Uh -oh. Anyways, let's say, so for the golden ticket, in the next three orders, no, Mandy? Mm -hmm. Mandy is my motherfucking customer service. We're going to be giving the, the, ¿cómo se llama? Golden ticket. The golden ticket, who, whoever gets it, gets a FaceTime with me. Or a motherfucking is the Facebook FaceTime? I don't know. I don't really know. You don't really know, no. I don't know. I don't really know. But anyways, siento algo que me mueve un ritmo que me hace olvidar dónde dónde está la mani. Baila, baila esta cumbia mueve mueve la cintura. Ooh la 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 one la only Mandy Martinez. Um. She was a state eating shrimp. See? We're over here eating birria. Y la bougie. Bougie. Eating shrimp. The shrimp is shrimp. So, Mandy, tell them the definition of where the, the word bougie came from. So, when African Americans, oh no, when Africans came to um, the United States in slave ships, they didn't know English. Mm -hmm. So, they made their own English. It's called um, African American Renaclear. English? English. They don't own like, the type of English. Oh, so that's where they came out with the word bougie. Mm -hmm. bougie. I wonder who did it. I like that word. You think you're all bougie. Like the definition, if I could explain it to like Mandy, it would be like fresita, like bougie with a little bit of hood. You know what I mean? Because she's trusha. Even though que la miran acá toda inocentona. And Ma Sofia, she's like... Loca. Loca with a little bit of este dark humor like that to humor and luego está because she laughs like <laughs> she cries and she cries at the same time I don't know, I'm looking special you're a fucking actress I wouldn't even be surprised if you were an actress but anyways thank you everybody peace mm -hmm. out mwah mwah mm -hmm. love